Hey beautifuls, Hannah here, Life Purpose Queen, awakening you to your dreams. And I'm here today talking about some pretty taboo stuff. I am a little bit fired up, so I'm just kind of just gonna like ease my fire a little bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, and it is my birthday, so feel free to wish me happy birthday, comment below on my live stream, because of course I'm gonna go live on my birthday as well and talk about the real hard, dark stuff, of course, right? Hey, Leanne. Um, please say happy birthday. No, you don't have to say happy I know most of you have already posted on my timeline. I just haven't kind of got there yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, say hi. Let me know you're here. Thanks. I'm just going to absorb all the birthday love. <laughs> and by the way, okay, so we're going to talk about taboo topics. Um, I would love to hear your comments as well about this. Um, let's talk about the dark stuff. Let's talk about the the hard stuff. Let's talk about, hey, Katrina, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Um, let's talk about all the stuff that us sensitive people, us empaths, us whatever um, you want to call us, kind of don't know what to do with, right? We know it's not good. We know it's wrong. We know... We don't like it, but also we also know that judging it is wrong. We also know that making it wrong is wrong. So like we're like, well, what do we do? And then it's like, how do we even fix the world when all this shit is going on and we're supposed to be like changing the world and like making it better, but like look what they're doing. So like how can we ignore it, right? So I'm gonna talk about all this stuff on this live stream. Um, I was gonna do it tomorrow, but I'm like, I am just like, no, this has to come out like now. Um, hey, Elisa. So let me just share this and I'm going to um, like comment below if there's stuff that you want me to talk about as well. Um, even if you're watching the replay, right? I'm going to kind of list some of the things I'm going to talk about. I wrote, wrote a little bit of a list and I'm also going to tell you a little bit of a story about how all this came about. Uh, if you've been following me on Facebook, you're probably going to see how this all came about. All right. So let's talk taboo stuff. Hey, Benjamin. Okay, let me just, I need to concentrate on sharing stuff, otherwise I share it in the wrong places and what have you. Okay. Hey, Steve. All right, just concentrating on sharing, otherwise I'm just gonna put it in the wrong places. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, any comments um, at any time, obviously just comment away. Uh, I see all your comments. I, um, I don't always speak to them right away, but I will always respond to them and I could, I could, I just want to say I could end this live stream in five minutes and say everything that I want to say about it. So, <laughs> um, so why don't I just do that for a moment, right? Let me say kind of like the biggest thing that is like my biggest passion about all the taboo stuff. So let me kind of list the taboo stuff that I'm kind of referring to, that I'm talking about. Um, and, it, and it's so funny, right? Because this all stemmed from me seeing something on Facebook when I, you know, I don't scroll Facebook, rarely scroll Facebook these days, but when I open my feed, there's stuff at the top of my feed. They're kind of the only things that I kind of see. They are um, very filtered, i.e. I'm very, very conscious about what I have in my field. Um, thanks, God. <laughs> it is my birthday. And I was even thinking before, I'm like, why am I going live on my birthday? I'm like, well, why not, right? I haven't actually done a public live stream for ages. I didn't plan to do a public live stream today. But it seems that I'm getting pushed more and more into my purpose faster and rapidly than I ever could have imagined in the past week. I'm like, okay. Um, so say hi, guys, when you join live. Let me know that you are here. And the kind of like the way that this started, right? The way this taboo topic stuff started was because last night I, I saw a post on my feed. I'm like, yes, I agree with that. In a sense, I'm like, this is what I'm all about, right? So I'm going to start there with the post and let me um, share, you know, kind of where this stem from and kind of where I'm coming from, right? 
I didn't think too much about it. I was just like, boom, there it is. Exactly my point. We're here to experience the whole thing. Now I can feel already and I almost wanted to, hey Sheree, thank you. Uh, hey Alexandra, lovely to have you here. Uh, it's like, I, I almost wanted to post on my Facebook, I could feel this coming and I'm like, okay, 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 like I wanted to post like, okay, it's filter time because people are going to start seeing a lot more of me, I guess a lot more of real me and I don't know how to like say that, just in a way I feel like I've been a little bit quiet in what I believe in, like, and that might be like hard to like believe you, but like, what are you talking about? And like, I don't know, and it's weird because I even pulled the come out of the closet card the other day and I'm like, how much more can I come out of the closet, right? Um, so I'm really curious and it's like filter time, like people who resonate with me are going to stay and people who are not are just going to like go, this chick is crazy, right? Or whatever. So, okay, let's get to it. Uh, as you guys join live, say hi, let me know you're here. If you're watching the replay, give me a replay hashtag and let me know you're watching the replay. So I shared a post um, last night, didn't think too much about it. And this post says, if you think it's more spiritual to become vegetarian, buy organic foods, practice yoga, and meditate, but then you find yourself judging those who don't do all those things, you fell into an ego trap. Now, I am so passionate about that. I have been passionate about that for a long time, right? Um... You talked, watch the videos about being bomb. Okay, yeah, it's time to come out. Um, and it's like, you know, and I can talk about these things because I used to be that person. I used to be that judgmental vegan. I used to be that judgmental, like, you know, not so much, but, you know, like about the animals dying and everything like that. But I used to have that, right? I used to people think that people were wrong because they took drugs, you know, and I'm like, because I stepped away from the drug scene. So I stepped into the other end of the spectrum, right? Of like, no, you can't do drugs. You need to be clean and blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I don't do drugs, but I'm just saying, right? It's an example I went into. Um, so I was judging them and I was all spiritual and I was like this person who did all this spiritual stuff So I was right and they're wrong. They shouldn't be taking drugs anymore and like just because I stepped away from it, right? It's like what, what they're doing it, their thing, right? So whatever um, It's kind of not my business about what that person takes drugs or not or like it is not none of my business whatsoever What that person does with their life However, I had a strong harsh judgment about the people who still take drugs that I used to hang out with right not anymore but at the time when I stepped away from them I did. Now it says, you know, if you think you're more spiritual riding a bike or public transport transport at work, but then you're judging those in the car, you fell into an ego trap. If you think you're, it's more spiritual to stop watching TV because it cancels your brain, but then you're judging those who still look at you, you fell into an ego trap. If you think it's more spiritual to avoid reading newspapers and gossip magazines, then you, but you judge those who read them, you fell into an ego trap. If you think it's more spiritual listening to classical music or sounds of nature, but then you're judging those who listen to commercial music, you fell into an ego trap. You always have to be careful about the feeling of superiority. Really want to point this one out, superiority. Okay, let's just remember that word for a moment. It is the most important clue we have to realize that we are dealing into an ego trap. The ego is cleverly hidden in noble thoughts like to start a vegetarian diet or use the bicycle and then to turn into a sense of superiority. You know, it's those ones. Um, because towards those who do not follow the same spiritual path. I am here breaking the myth of modern day spirituality. Yeah? I am the life purpose queen and it is my birthday today. Hey Cody. Um, hey Alavisa. Thank you very much. It is my birthday and it was so interesting. I'm like, why am I being called to do this on my birthday? And I'm like, of course, because I'm being born again. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just like, it's time to, to really step it up. In a sense, I'm like, yeah, I have been hiding a little bit, not purposely, um, maybe it's got something to do with now getting a team. I'm like, wow, I can hand over like 60 hours a week and I can still work full time and I can be here on live streams with you guys <laughs> more often, right? Because I'm in my private groups all the time. Okay, so I just wanted to point out, okay, I have, um, thanks Nita for happy birthday wishes. Thank you. So it's like this thing. Thanks, Diane. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. <clears throat> so I have, if you've been following me for a long time, thanks Lisa. Um, you know, I've always been this thing where I'm like, like, let's not judge people, you know, like as soon as we judge something or someone, even ourselves, we have put ourselves into a separation instead of oneness, okay? Now, I posted something a little while ago, I think in my private group even, um, about 
No, I posted a public post a little while ago about murderers and pedophiles and all of that sort of thing. I'm like, you know, you want to, you know, challenge me on the darkness if you may. I'm like, I can even hold space for people like that. And a lot of people message me and they're like, I don't understand that people unfollowed me just like I shared that post last night. Because I saw that people had unfollowed me and stuff like, you know, I was like, oh, my friends list gone down. How interesting. <laughs> right. I'm like, it's filter time. Um, in this sense of like, the post that I posted last night that I shared, I just shared it. I was like, I resonate with this, right? And I shared it. And then I was like, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name properly. Like, um, the, the guy that I shared the, the post, like it was his, it was his words, right? And someone had quoted his words and she shared it. And I was like, I shared it. In a sense, like it's the, the mood, mood guy. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> like the M O O J I. Like this is how, like, I'm like, oh yeah, it's him. Like sort of thing. I, I just, uh, the labels, I'm big on labels. You get stuck on a label, you get caught in the ego trap. You, and you even know, I don't like using the word ego. I'm like, I feel sad when people use the word ego. Now, yes, I read that post to explain things. I, I use labels to explain things. I <laughs> love these filters. Yes, I'm starting to really love them too. I'm like, Okay, where's my drive? No, it's like, uh, I get it. So thank you. Um, I was just like, yeah, I get that filter thing. I was like, I've always wanted to post it. Anyway, um, so this whole, like, because I didn't realize until later and I saw my friends list go down and I was like, and I, you know, obviously I ask questions all the time. I get messages straight away. And it's like, this um, guy, I'm pretty, like the name rang a bell and I was like, oh, isn't this this sex scandal guy from... India or something. I remember seeing something about it months ago. Maybe it's not him. So please don't I, I, I'm really not clear if that was him or not But the name rang a bell and there was a big like uproar in the yoga community because he was Involved in all these sex sex scandals and everything like that. Now. I need to clarify. I am not pro pedophilia. I am not pro uh, sex scam like do you know what I mean I'm like no I'm not for it but I'm also not against it in a sense of like holding them in their trap like do you know what I mean like that's a trap like do you know what I mean like when we have judged something we not only um, like keep ourselves separate from i.e. the darkness for example right because it's dark it's taboo like whenever we judge something we've separated our energetic self from it let me point that out we've separated our energetic self from from it and what that does is we then project it onto other people that's wrong that's bad oh my god they're so bad right now people had messaged me like the other week when I said you know that's how much darkness I can quote unquote hold now when I say hold I'm like I didn't hold the darkness a freaking transformer right and and this is the difference it's like we judge something is bad right they're bad oh my god they were in a sex scandal I will never buy their products again like well okay great that's a good you know that that's what you want to do trust that I'm always like trust your intuition over what I say right <laughs> um, and it's like you know but when we actually separate we're like that is wrong what we have done is energetically separated ourselves from that so our energetic self now lives out here right it lives out there in our aura instead of being integrated and whole in our true power here and then because we have separated an energetic part of ourselves through a simple judgment and mind you I just want to point this out when there's a big media scandal about friggin anything anything everyone's talking about it and what you've done is gone oh yes yes okay I'm gonna separate myself from that too was that even your truth I don't know, did you check in or are you just like going on the energy of what you're feeling? You're like, oh yeah, I'm going to separate myself too. So when we've separated an energetic part of ourself and now it's now sitting on the outside edge of our aura, what's this doing? It's sitting out here on our energetic aura, all on the outside here. Oh yeah, that's wrong. Oh yeah, they're fucked. Oh yeah, they're, they're, pfft. that's so bad. Okay, separate part of my energetic self because I'm disowning that because uh, that's wrong, right? Now, I'm going to talk about discernment and like wrong like superiority basically you know it comes into that thing a discernment is different and I'll speak about this in a moment but when we have separated a part of ourselves by judging it is wrong it now sits out here on our energetic self and this is vibrating right we are vibrating beings okay and what happens when we vibrate things to the universe what are we vibrating to the universe oh the judgment of sexuality. So then we go and get sexually fucking abused. Now, people are going to hate me saying this, okay? I'm going to lose a lot of followers from this. Okay, 
good, you're not ready for the level that I'm bringing out here. And I don't like talking about levels, but this is where, this is where my fire comes in. This is where my passion fucking comes in. Okay. Yes, I'm swearing. Yes, I'm fired up. Okay. Because people are separating their energetic selves every single day when they are judging something in the media, something that somebody else said, and they agreeing with it, right? And when they agree with it, they put their bit of self out here too. And so someone else that's, for, you know, vibrating, like we all know the law of attraction stuff, guys. Like this is where I'm like, if you guys believe you create your own reality, but you think that this is not part of your reality and like you disowned this, I'm like, I, for me, I'm like, that's a mismatch in like your belief systems, your values, like what you're portraying to the world. I'm like, hello people, like how can you believe that you create your own reality but you didn't create that? I'm giving an explanation about how that first started, of how you started vibrating this in your aura in the very fucking first place, okay? agreement with somebody else's belief systems without even checking it in with your own is like the most detrimental thing you can do to your soul. It's like soul suicide. I talk about soul suicide. This is what I'm talking about, right? Did not check in with your own self at all. At all. Somebody says something to you, right? Say you're feeling down. Say you're feeling like, um, upset say you're feeling hurt and you go and talk to somebody because you just need somebody to talk to and then they say oh well that person's this they shouldn't do that and that kind of seed whether you take that in or not you're like oh yeah there's a part of you that agrees with it because you're wanting that help and support from somebody and so you, that part of yourself separates outside you did not check in with your energetic self filter and this is why i'm always going about what is your truth? Did you this is all shadow work by the way our truth filter sits in our throat did you swallow somebody else's truth, right? And it's interesting the throat's now coming up because I'm like, all the taboo stuff, it's shadow work. When we project a part of our psyche and consciousness, so like somebody will say something, we take that in and then we're like, oh yeah, right, media, anything like that. And we're like, then it sits on the outside, then we're vibrating this. Do you know what you did? It didn't even go through your throat, throat filter, like your, your, your truth filter into your heart and go, hmm, did that agree with me or not? Because a lot of people are so cut off from here because they don't want to feel the pain of the truth of the fucking planet right now. So many people are cut off, right? And it's like, we you know, we're talking about the dark stuff. We're talking about the cabal. We're talking about the government. Like, oh my God, the government's doing all this. And how can, you know, and if you didn't read my blog about why you're scared about what the government is doing, there's a video attached to that blog as well about a different topic that I did about the same government. <laughs> it's like, we are disowning our power and it's sitting out here. We just gave our power away. We didn't even come into our body, which is why I'm always harping on about starting at the top of the chakras and coming in. We need to ground in and harness that power and that fire, right? <laughs> the fire makes so much sense. What is soul suicide, right? Soul suicide is when you don't listen to your intuition. In a, in a long story short, soul suicide is not listening to your intuition. It's taking other people's opinions, thoughts, you know, not even dropping into your body and understanding what your intuition, if you, you continue along a path when you, intuition is like, actually this is not right for you and you continue and continue, that is soul suicide. And that's why people, you know, when they have relationship breakups and they're lost and they actually commit suicide is because their soul has committed suicide. Well, you've committed suicide to your soul. I know your soul can never commit suicide. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of a bit of a terminology for not listening to intuition. Pretty much. I want to confuse you there. Um... So true, you got reminded of this quite recently. Yeah, and I just want to point out, you're welcome, Cody. Um, totally agree when you judge something, we give our power away. 100% because it sits out here. We've lost power, right? It's kind of like, I don't know, like the, I don't know, a car loses a cylinder. You're not running on all power, which is why so many people are drained and tired and all that jazz, right? Um, whoops. No judgment, no attachment. Yes. No judgment, no attachment. There's something else I need to be saying about that, though. I can feel it. <laughs> um, hey, Erin. Hey, everybody that's um, joining live. You probably want to watch the start of this live stream. So let's talk about this for a minute. Does anyone have any questions, by the way? Um, please, please fire them away for me. So like the dark, the cabal, the government, um, like the sex trafficking, the, okay, let's talk about this for a minute, right? So I, I, I started talking, I forgot to say, and so at the start of the live stream, I'm like, I could end this live stream in less than five minutes, right? Less than five minutes. And then I started talking and I forgot. So this is how I could end the live stream in less than five minutes, right? Let's just, let's, let's get an understanding of what these taboo topics are. Okay. 
um, child sex trafficking, pedophilia, um, the government, what the cabal's doing, what the, I don't know, Trump and I don't know, what's the, the Russian guy, like I don't even watch it, like, but I hear people talk about it, I'm like, okay, it's interesting, you know, it's the same thing, it's like, do I project and do I, or do I go right in here and I go, ah, right? So what I'm going to share about this is pretty much what I've said in my blog and stuff. And this is kind of where it is, right? It's like all this stuff's going on in the world. And there's a part of us that goes, well, that's bad. That's wrong. We go through all that, what I just explained, right? <laughs> How do I end this live stream in five minutes? Guys, where is your damn focus? Where, where is your focus, people? If you truly believe in the law of attraction, if you truly believe that we create our own reality, why are you still focusing on them? Why? And people are like, well, I don't know why, but it's hard not to because they're hurting the world. It's like, yes, yes, they are. But as you guys know, the law of attraction and energy, wherever our attention goes, energy flows. So the more we keep focusing on them, by the way, look at those fingers that pointed back at you, <laughs> right? The more energy we put on them, social media, government, I mean, like TV, like, what is it? You know, newspapers, like whatever you want to call it, right? We just choose not to watch it anymore. People are like, oh my God, there's all this crap on my Facebook feed. And I'm like, why haven't you filtered that shit out? Like, come on, <laughs> right? There's unfollow, there's unfriend for a reason, right? So it's like, what do we do about it, right? Because we're like, yeah, this stuff's wrong in the world, right? And what it is, it's like us people, right? <laughs> so sensitive healers, like workers, whatever you want to call yourself, we know what the new earth or the old earth, we know what this place is supposed to be like. We know that in our heart. That's why we feel the pain of the earth because we know that everybody is quote unquote hurting the earth right? So what do we do about it? Do we ignore it? Do we do whatever? Now, I want to tell you a quick little short story here, right? In 2007, so this was two years after my spiritual awakening when I was 23, I got invited to a um, random last minute, you know, out of the blue, someone had bought me a ticket to see Doreen Virtue live in Brisbane, right? And this is in 2007. Now, because it was all last minute, it's an hour drive from where I live to Brisbane. We got there, we got there late. We had to walk into the back of the seminar room. We had to sit at the very, very, very back of the seminar room, right? And, and it, you know, during the, the seminar, Thing, um, you know, she was going to ask questions to people. Now at the like interval, like half time thing, all these people went out and they bought all this stuff. And I'm sitting at the back of the room and I'm like praying to the angels. I'm like, angels, can you please get like in my head? I'm like, angels, can you please get Dorian Virtue to answer my question? Can you please get her to answer my question? Like it was over and over and over and over, over. Oh, you were there in 2007. It was freaking awesome, right? But Sheree can probably vouch to me that if you remember this. Um, and so anyway, the last half of the, you know, seminar thing, and I'm right at the back of the room, right? So she's like, okay, who's got a question? And of course, I put my hand up. And, you know, they're asking all these people at the front, you know, and she's getting closer to the back. And Doreen's right on the front of the stage. And, you know, people asking about their relationship and their problems and work or whatever. And I'm like, I knew. And I was so nervous. I'm actually nervous telling you guys this. You can feel my heartbeat. <laughs> and it's like, and I'm sitting there. And I put my hand up and there was another woman kind of close to me and and I thought I was, I knew Doreen was pointing to me, but I was like, put my hand down because I was like, oh, you, you go sort of thing. And Doreen's like, no, 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 you, the angels are pointing to you. And I was like, yep, <laughs> I got the microphone and I, um, you know, and I asked the question and I said, what do we do about all the bad stuff in the world, all the wars, all the, all the shit that's going on? You know, like, what do we do about that? Do we just block it out? Or like, you know, what do we do? And I, I can't even remember what she really said. I think she says something like, I don't know, we send it light and no, we don't ignore it, but we send it love and light. And I don't know, she probably said something else. I can't remember at the time. But what I do remember is how many people came up to me after, you know, the seminar had finished and they said, oh, you asked about the world stuff. Like everyone was asking about relationships. I'm like, yeah, and, <laughs> you know, and I guess I'm just sharing that because I'm so damn passionate about people understanding what we can do about that stuff. And do you know what we can do about that stuff? Love it to death. Yes. But how do we love it to death? Let me know how we love it to death because sending love and light to it. Yeah, we're still focusing on it. We're still focusing on it. 
still focusing, we still put energy on it in the world. Yes, we love it to death. Yes, we become aware of things. And we become aware of things because we have the tools to be able to shift it. But somewhere along the lines, somewhere along the lines, we took in something and it's sitting out here, shaking. So when we become aware of something, what's happened is this shaking has gone, oh, it's time to work on this one now, okay. And this is where the shadow work comes in, the throat, right? Um, yeah, okay, see, I wouldn't, right? <laughs> it's like kill the evil and negative energy with love, no. No. Kill the evil and negative energy is a judgment on it. You've just trapped yourself there. I'm saying this with love, Erin. <laughs> Please know. I'm like, thank you for saying that because I'm pointing this out. Everyone's like, that's bad. This is wrong. Kill the darkness. No, I'm like, fucking embrace the darkness. And what I mean by that is doing shadow work. I'm so damn passionate about it because that's how you transform the darkness within yourself. Right? And if you, if you haven't done shadow work before, you can Google stuff for sure. Book in for a 30 minute psychic reading for me or, or anything. And like it'll, I could show you, right? <laughs> I can show you. Um, you can Google shit. I'm not saying come and work with me. But I'm also saying come and work with me. <laughs> if you don't know how to do it and you're really serious about getting on life purpose. Because, by the way, instead of focusing on it, yes, we become aware of it. And yes, we need to like, you know, sort this out. And we need to do shadow work. But what we're also doing is every time we become aware of something, the quicker we get on that. There is a gift in that darkness. As soon as we turn a light on in a dark room, the, light, the dark just disappears, right? And all of a sudden we can see clearly about the truth of the situation that's really going on. We didn't stay in the dark or projecting the darkness onto more people, right? Now, the biggest thing about the five minute thing, I kind of got sidetracked again, is like, instead of focusing on them, we focus on our life purpose. And build our fucking tribe we know we know we know what they're doing wrong we don't need to focus on it anymore we also know what the solution is that's our life purpose because we wouldn't be having such a strong reaction to it if we didn't incarnate in this lifetime to plant massive seeds on this planet with our unique life purpose to change the fucking world you wouldn't be following me if you weren't that person you wouldn't be part of my following or my tribe. You just wouldn't be. You wouldn't resonate with me. There are so many gifts in the shadow. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and the more you connect with that one particular shadow, like, it, let alone the 50, hang on, the 74 billion shadows. Apparently there's 74 billion people on the world. I'd have to Google, maybe it's increased, I don't know. There's 74 billion people on the world. I want to point this out. That means there's 74 billion shadow parts waiting for you to reclaim them. Because when you do and you reclaim every single person that shows up in your reality, every single person that irritates you, every single person that you have a judgment on that they've done wrong in your life and you're still hating on them, even if it's a tiny little thread, until you do shadow work and integrate them and build a relationship internally on that shadow. I, I, so simple. That's magic. Yes. The wizard. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. So much, right? I just want to point out, if you guys haven't, I can see there's more comments there. I just want to point out these cards. These are freaking awesome, right? I mean, there's so many tools. Hang on, let me turn this around. There's so many tools for shadow work. Like, it's limitless, right? Um, and the screen's not going to load. Okay, whatever's. <laughs> I'm not turning it around then. These are the archetype cards by Carolyn Mace. I know it's back to front. Um, there's, so there's 74 billion people in the world. Please know that's how many shadow parts you've got and probably more because like that's just humans on the planet. Imagine how many thoughts those humans have. Like there's your shadows. Like can you just like, whew, oh, there's the universe. Wow, do you know how limitless that is? It's not like, oh, I'm going to do shadow work once and I'm healed and the world's healed. It's like, no, this is like daily. This is like 
moment by moment because when you know the shadow process and when you have built an inner relationship so strong with yourself this is where the processing on the spot comes but if you've only done shadow work once or twice or a couple of times we'll try doing it every day for the next 10 years like literally go into a meditation and then we'll talk <laughs> type thing no i'm just <laughs> like you can see i'm really passionate about this okay it's really really strong hang on just let me um sorry these comments oh my goodness I'm trying to see okay I'm not supposed to see that let me let me bring it up on the screen here because I don't have it on here I just want to check these comments I'm actually going to pull a shadow card so um these shadow cards I'm talking about like this is just an awesome tool like there's so many tools like I said um these um they've got a light attribute and a dark attribute there we go it is back front I know I'll just read it out because my thing's not working um, so the light attribute at the top and then it says ah, the shadow at the bottom right so it gives you both now the light attribute this is the pioneer I've just pulled it off the top by the way <laughs> just pointing that out <laughs> um, passion for doing and creating what has not been done before hello do I need to like say anymore <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry um, like, I just I do want to see these comments let me just check these comments okay shadow attribute shadow attribute really interesting this is obviously an important card i will pull another card but this has come up for a reason right and, and this is why i just said to you guys you wouldn't be following me you wouldn't be resonating with me you wouldn't understand me right if you didn't have a life purpose like me that doesn't even focus on the shit that's going on in the world because we already know what's going on we already know what's wrong but we also have the damn solution for it and we're just doing our purpose work because we also have the deep understanding and power that we know that every time something comes up we're like oh cool something else to integrate no matter how dark or wrong it is right we're like okay cool pedophilia all right maybe i need to go and revisit that okay cool yep done right and then our power comes back into our tribe and what we're focusing on is this and we're planting all these seeds of consciousness in our tribe and this is growing right now we may or may not see the results of our seeds that we're planting in this lifetime but this is for the generations to come right and we're probably going to come back again like right <laughs> fools so much yep <laughs> yep thank you so much for joining uh steve <laughs> Yes, 100% for everybody. Um, so the shadow attribute, right, is the compulsive need to keep moving on. Right? So the pioneer, the person who knows they're here for big things, right? Um, the passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. But the shadow attribute of that, right, is the compulsive need to keep moving on from things. So not finishing what you start. Um, not having the confidence to actually put into action the ideas that you're getting. Look, it's a light bulb on there, by the way. Right? So this is where... And look, there's a heart in the middle of that light bulb, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't see my video in my free reality with support, we're, we're right in the in the crown at the moment. The star beings making their presence known everywhere. Everybody knows that there's an influx of like beings coming in from other galaxies right now. The world's going to shift, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to go into that right now. Everybody knows that stuff. How do us as humans cope with that? We do our shadow work. And if you're following me, you do what your life purpose is calling you to do, not focus on that stuff because you've already got the solution for it. It's just like, we need to get this done, right? Every every moment that you worry about what the government's doing, you're wasting precious time, right? Your, your compulsive need to keep moving on, i.e. not focusing on what you know you need to get done, right? And, and then we wonder why we have anxiety and then we wonder why we, um, you know, don't sleep properly. And then we wonder why um, we're attracting all these like crazy ass fucking situations because like all this stuff's going. And it's like, yeah, because you're not focusing on what you're supposed to do. When you focus on your life purpose, you attract every fucking resource that you ever need and ever can imagine. And even more when you step onto the path of your life purpose, because the... Archangel Chamuel is the life purpose archangel and he like when I channeled him years ago and I was doing the course and Michelle channeled him it was like everything that steps when you step onto your life purpose every single thing that you need is in this picture like everything you can imagine right you just need to keep focus and keep doing the work right keep creating your life purpose because the more energy you put into that the more energy creates the momentum and then we start it takes its own it's got its own wheels right 
So no one said it was easy. I keep saying this, right? <laughs> Nobody says it's gonna be easy, but worth it, priceless. All right, I'm gonna pull a card for this live stream. I did just put the Pioneer card back in there. Um, and I'm going to just read these comments quickly. There was two that I wanted to speak about. Uh, okay, so Nita says, do you ignore people in a workspace if they are nasty and talking about you and you face with sitting at a table a few times a week? Yeah, so a couple of things. So first thing, like if you've got, um, you're so welcome, Ali. <laughs> um, I love Ali. Ali's been helping me so much. She's one of my team members now and I'm so grateful for you, Ali. I would not be doing this live stream if it wasn't for you the past two days, past two weeks. <laughs> Thank you, God. Got all the support now. <laughs> um, okay, attracting more and more support. Okay, so do I ignore people in a workspace if they're nasty? Okay, two things. If anybody, whether workspace, relationship, um, something you see on social media and you're like, that person, blah, blah, blah. Shadow work. Go straight into shadow. Do a shadow meditation. Keep revisiting it for like three days, right? Minimum. Minimum, yeah? And then, um, could, because the thing is when you do in a shadow work and you do it consistently. This is the key, right? You do it consistently and you really understand the depth of the gift of what's why they're there, right? When you understand that and you do that in a work, there's two things that will happen. Number one is usually your physical reality shifts without you doing anything, right? So that might, that person might get randomly fired, for example, or um, those people leave your life. The other thing that can happen is because you've integrated it on a very deep level, and when I say deep level, there's kind of more bits, you know, type thing, but there's so many factors that come into play, but shadow work's a really big thing, um, really big part of that. The other thing is that you could leave that workplace um, unexpectedly, or you're like, I can't stay here anymore because you've integrated that lesson. Now, what happens when you leave and you go to another workplace, you don't attract the same situation anymore because you've learned the lesson. And when I say you've learned the lesson, you've integrated, you will only continue um, attracting the same situations if you haven't learned the lesson that's sitting still out here on the vibrational field that from the separation of the judgment you had in the first place. And that can, and I just want to point out these separations of judgment, you know, that I said at the start of this live stream, if you're just joining live, you miss what I'm talking about, you need to re-watch the live stream, um, is that those bits that now sit out in your aura that, you know, you had a judgment or whatever, I won't repeat it all, they can also be passed down from generational ties, right? Now, this is where my triple goddess and my trying God meditation come in because we're clearing the karmic generational stuff that we're carrying in our energetic field, right? So when we do that and we have generational clearings, then we're able to just work on our stuff. And, you know, and by the way, like when we clear stuff for us, we're clearing for generations above and below anyway. But if you haven't done any sort of generational clearing work, you're probably going to be carrying a lot from a lot of people, right? So that's the kind of thing that I, that's what I would be saying there. Um, so it, it basically, you know, doing shadow work and integrating like that basically is so that when you leave a situation, you don't like go and um, attract a situation again, right? Um, yeah, okay. So um, in social media, you're faced with these people, right? So, and the same thing is like, you know, um, it's when we do the work, 100%, right? 100%, Cody. Um, so when you're saying like, uh, you know, like even on social media, so it doesn't matter if you've got a physical workplace or an online workplace, um, you, you can still do shadow work and they disappear out of your life because you've integrated them. If you are still, um, the meditation is so powerful and awesome. Is that the Triune God? Like it's called the Divine Balance, by the way, the Triune God and the Triple Goddess that will be released very soon. Now I've got my team helping me. Um, so yeah, like you... <laughs> And I just want, there's two things, that's why I'm hesitating here saying this. So when you first start stepping up in your life purpose, whether you're starting an online business or not um, in your life purpose, because not all life purposes are online, but some of them are, um, is that you will cop flack when you first step up and, and change something, right? You, you will cop it, right? Because everyone, it, you're changing. People don't like change, right? Um, 
Blocking person easier. Yeah, and this is where I'm like, there's different layers here, right? So if you're attracting the same sort of person all the time, even if you've done shadow work, that would say that there's something deeper that you need to work with. So it'd be like wound healing or dropping into past lives. Like it's, it can go really deep, right? But usually once you hit that core, you don't attract those sorts of people anymore with that same thread. So if you're catching the same sort of people and threads, then yeah, I mean, you could block a hundred people and you'd still be attracting it in your everyday reality because you haven't healed the wound. It's still sitting out here, right? So instead of blocking people let's turn this around first and do this first let's clear the block in here and then if it keeps happening well then we can block right I mean I'm not saying like don't block but I'm saying do your inner work otherwise you'll be blocking every person on social media pretty much is kind of what I'm saying so let me know if that makes sense um so Lavissa says I like it's like hate the crime, not the criminal. I don't even use the word hate, it's such a powerful word. Yeah, any word is powerful, by the way. <laughs> um, so half of the shit in the media is all negative and half of it is made up. Yeah, and this is where I'm like, you know, where's the truth filter here, you know? Um, and Berta says, totally picking up what you're putting down, loving it all. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. It's like running away from your problems. Yes, yes, it is, yeah. And shadow work's a solution to that. You know, it's like when here, it's like the compulsive need to keep moving on, right? You want to talk about life purpose and you want to talk about, you know, like the running away from your problems. Hello, <laughs> this is where the pioneer comes in. This is obviously a very potent card of this live stream. It's like um, the passion for doing and creating what has not, not been done before, right? A lot of the people that are in trouble with the law, a lot of the people that um, are judged as bad, wrong, good, wrong, like they're this, they're here to do things that are not on the fucking planet. They're so shit scared about it. They don't have the tools. They don't have the support. So they keep moving on and running away from things because they're like, oh my God, what I'm here to do is so big and I have support. My purpose is I'm starting to get more and more clearer as I keep going with this. It's like, I'm here to help you guys step up to do your thing, right? Like I'm here too, right? To do big things. I know that. To help you guys step up to do what you're here because everybody has a unique life purpose. Everybody is a pioneer if they only trust the ideas and bring them into their heart that light bulb right is right there yeah i'm gonna pull a card for this live stream i just put that back in the deck i am shuffling if you are just joining this live stream you need to jump on the replay and watch this if you think this can help somebody too you can share it as well by the way um, I have also just opened up my three month program. Um, it is the goal reacher program. If you are wanting to really, really amplify yourself, look, I just pulled three. Um, like there is three months left of this year, right? And I also discovered, um, I think, I don't know, the other day, um, we are in the last 18 months, two years of, what are we in now? We're moving into the age of Aquarius. I'd need to look at a chart, right? We're moving into the age of the Aquarius, which is the light bringer. We are in um, the last, uh, we've got 18 months or two years left, right, of a 10 year cycle. Now, everyone's probably going to agree the last 10 years have not been easy, right? <laughs> because of this star astrological sign we're kind of sitting in. The energy is about to change. In 18 months or two years, we've got left of this 10 year cycle, and then we're stepping into the age of Aquarius, which is the light bringer. So it's why people are waking up. It's why all the darkness is starting to be seen. It's why we're learning how to integrate. It's like why we're learning and how we're learning to do these things on, you know, physical reality and like ground down, right? Now, oh no, I don't want you to think that the next 18 months are going to be bad like they have been in the past eight, seven and a half, eight years, right? Why? Because you know the tools now. You wouldn't be sitting here watching this if you didn't know the tools or know someone that can help you. Hi, <laughs> right? And I'm just saying that we have a choice, right? We have a choice. We can make it hell for ourselves, or we can do the damn work, integrate and actually step onto life purpose. Oh, the thing, oh, the pioneer card didn't come out. or oh, it's on the bottom. Um, or we could get onto purpose ASAP and actually enjoy the next 10 years of living on purpose, which is why we're meant to be here in the first place, right? And let's actually create the next 10 years of a big shift on the planet because it's going to speed up. Technology is going to advance. You know, if you look at the past, what, 20 years ago, there wasn't phones, like, all well, there was big bricks, right? Look what we have now. Like, I don't know, like, what are we going to have in the next 10 years? Like, we're not, we're going to be like telepathically communicating, like phones are not even going to exist. Like, how are they going to market that? Anyway, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit carried away. 
Okay, let me read these cards for the live stream. And I'm going to read the bottom one to start with. I always look at the bottom deck, the bottom card on the deck when I do a reading. And this jumped out of me. I, I know it's back to front. I couldn't turn the screen around. I'm not going to waste time mucking around with that right now. It's exorcist. It's exorcist, right? Really important to talk about this. The light attribute. Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. The shadow. Exactly what I just fucking spoke about. Fear of facing your own demons. Damn it, it's back to front. Can you guys see this? Maybe I'll take a photo. I'll take a photo and I'll put it on my page, right? Fear of facing your own demons is the shadow. The exorcist. Exorcist, right? Freeing yourself and others of destructive habits. How do we do that? We do everything I just spoke about on this live stream. If you missed it, please rewatch it. If you don't know how to do the work that I'm talking about, please come and see me. This is what I'm here to help you with, right? I'm going to read the rest of the cards and then come back to this one. This is the overlying message, right? It's the overlying message. That's why I look at the bottom card of the deck. I'm also just going to um, put in the comments now um, my three-month goal reacher program. And the reason I just started talking about that for the next 10 years is because we've got three months left of 2018, right? Well, it's technically two and a half months. Like, okay, I want to be technical about it, right? My three-month goal reacher program gets you on purpose. There's like distance healings. You've got one-on-one -on -one phone or Skype sessions with me every fortnight. So it's a lot more in depth than my 21-day shifter program on WhatsApp, where it's just voice and text message. But on the, this three-month goal reacher program, it's actually like face-to-face, -face, like over Skype or video call. I mean, who's Skype these days? Come on, Hannah. Get with the times, right? <laughs> on FaceTime or audio call. Um... Yeah, you're so welcome, Larissa. Super love having you guys here. Um, so this is, you know, like I was called to release this because this is like you really want to amplify the next like 18 months in this cycle. I'm like, let's get you clear of all the stuff of the past 10 years or the past eight years, right? Let's awaken, activate. Like there's blueprint DNA, um, life purpose activations that I do in there as part of the Goal Reacher program as well. And it's just a lot more in depth. If you really want to work, deeply and have someone like fully supporting you a lot more than just voice message or text message then this is the program for you okay so let's get to these cards right so um if i was reading the cards all right so the child right so we've got i know it's back to the front past present and future look at that oh it's a blank card what does that mean we create our own damn reality right it's everything i've been talking about on this live stream yeah the child card is the orphan the light and the dark let's look at the light aspect Independence based on learning to let go it and do it alone, learning to go it alone, conquering the fear of surviving. The shadow, feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. It's pretty much I've been speaking about in um, my group this week, right? If you're in my free support group, abandonment, the mother abandonment has come up. So no surprise that this has come up, right? So when we integrate that aspect of us that feels abandoned, that feels orphaned, what do we do? We reclaim our power. So instead of it sitting out here, attracting all these people that also are reflecting that, so we're attracting and like we have all that reflected back to us by people more abandoning us because it's still sitting out here. We haven't integrated it yet and we feel abandoned because it's still, get a point, right? This here, when we integrate that part of us that feels abandoned, we gain our power back by we feel um, that we, it says independence based on the learning to go it alone, conquering the fear of surviving. Now going it alone doesn't mean accepting help or asking for help. Going it alone um, and the independence means that you don't go into the attachment or the surrogate families and have in, you know, unhealthy attachment relationships, right? That's what you were talking about before, Scott. Um, conquering the fear of surviving. So when we do that, we become kind of limitless because we're like, it's going to happen to me. I'm going to die. Oh, well, I'll just come back again, right? That's when we can step more into purpose. Right now, the detective, right? Interesting card that has come up in this. So the light attributes, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth, right? Desire to seek out the truth. This is what I'm talking about, right? We know stuff's not going on the right. Like we're the detectives, we're the empaths, we're the indigos, whatever you want to call it. We, sit, we know the damn truth. And we're like, that's like, what are you doing to the world? Why can't you see that? Right? We've spoken about this. And I'm going to repeat myself the entire live stream, right? This here, 
great powers of observation and intuition. This is where we put into action our intuition because we've already got a solution. We know what we have to do is have damn will do it, right? The shadow attribute, voyeurism, falsifying information. Can you guys just... <laughs> I was like, this will be the end of the live stream. I'm like, wow, I could have a whole entire live stream about the shadow attribute of this alone. Falsifying information. I don't think I need to say more than that, but I could pretty much media like it. this is why I was talking about the start of the live stream. Whose truth are you swallowing? Are you being the detective and listening to your intuition, or are you just swallowing people's truths and then like doing that in the world? Powerful, huh? Powerful. So the final outcome card. It's a blank one. Out of the entire deck, I think there's three or four blank ones in here. Oh, there's another one. Right? Why is it blank? Because we have a choice. We have a choice to do the work. Or not. Right? <clears throat> Freeing yourself from freeing yourself and others from destructive impulses. Shadow, fear of facing your own demons. We have a choice. And you wouldn't be watching this live stream if you didn't resonate with this. You wouldn't understand it. You wouldn't have a damn all life purpose that is the pioneer, which is what I keep saying to you guys. When you have a life purpose that isn't on the planet yet, that's when it's the hardest to ground it. That's what I'm here for, to help you guys do that. I know that that's a big part of my life purpose. I, after 13 years of doing this work, I'm like, oh, that's what I'm doing, right. It's kind of why I've like really owned the fact that I'm the life purpose queen, because I'm like, oh, I see what I'm doing with helping people now. I'm like, okay, <laughs> got it, right? Katrina, the name of the deck um, is Carolyn Mace, the archetype cards. She also has an awesome book called Sacred Contracts. Uh, and yeah, the, the book's pretty in depth, but it's pretty much a book on going through this. The sacred contracts we have with ourselves and other people around all this stuff. Yeah, the deck is amazing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. In my free support group, I'll be doing a live stream this Sunday and pulling individual cards on this. If you're not in my group, please come and say hi because, as I said, we're on Ear Chakra Week at the moment. We're listening. And then next week, we step into our clear sentience, which is our heart. But I felt that the throat needed to be spoken to. I wasn't going to miss that one out because that's the connection between the two, right? So I'm doing on Sunday. I'm not sure what time yet, but I'll be doing a live stream and pulling individual cards. So if you want a shadow reading done for yourself, you need to be in that group on Sunday or Saturday. Um, if you're on the other side of the world and you're not in Australian time zone. So... Thanks for joining me live, guys. Um, if you think this can help somebody, please share it. Um, thank you for watching because um, I know that there's, there's nothing to be scared of. There is nothing to be scared of, especially when you integrate your inner child. And this is, this is orphan, right? There's, uh, there's so many different aspects of the inner child. It's like, how deep do you want to go? You know, like you've got your inner child, right? But then you've also got... Um, Oh, let me just see for an example. So the child, like the magical child, right? There's a light and dark, dark aspect of the magical child. I think in this deck, there's like five different childs alone, like the wounded child, right? There's a light and the dark just of the wounded one, right? Um, and if you can, you know, if you really want to go into depth, like you can get, they talk about getting lost down the rabbit hole, like this is why, right? So I've just pointed out the orphan, the magical and the wounded child, right? You could say that there's a wounded exorcist, there's a wounded, um, there's an orphan exorcist, there's a, um, orf, uh, there's a magical exorcist, right? And there's a sh the dark and the light of each of those. Like how deep do you want to go with this stuff? And this is why I'm saying you don't just do shadow work once and you're done. Like, do you know what I mean? You don't just do shadow work once and you're done. When you see the depths of how we can go here, I'm like, this is a life. This is what we're here for, right? Because if we're not, we go into anxiety. We, we're, we are the demons. We are the things that we're saying is wrong in the world when we're not doing this. Hey, Carrie. 
Hey Emily, yes, you'll need to rewatch <laughs> for sure. All right, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. Yeah, how awesome is it, right? It's so awesome. Um, yes, me too. Yes, for sure, Lavissa. All right, um, so my Goal Reacher program is pinned to the top of the comments. So if you've got any questions about that or you want to work with me in any way, please send me a private message and I will get back to you. And um, I look forward to coming out a lot more now because my team is now started with me. So in the next month, you will see me a lot more in public live streams and I'm super looking forward to it because I've got so much more information that I haven't even shared yet. And now I'm having the time and space to do it. So love you guys, heaps. Thank you for being here on my birthday. Namaste.